Hello and welcome to Junior Achievement's virtual speaker series. Today we're going to focus on careers within technology and our guest speaker today is going to share his personal story. I would like to go ahead and welcome Eron Cummings and Eron is the Vice President of Software Development at Kaplan. Eron, thank you for joining us today. No problem. No problem. It's our pleasure. Would you mind just starting and telling us a little bit about what you did coming out of high school? Yeah, um, coming out of high school, I went straight into college. Um, I was a tad bit undecided about what I wanted to do um, around that time. Um, you know, the, the computer portion, the internet was starting to pick up. I did a little bit of it in, in uh, high school. So it was a, a choice between the medical field and the technology field. Um, I went and chose to play football and, and, you know, major in computer science. And so, you know, after that, did my four years there, got my computer science, um, bachelor of computer science degree, and then just entered the field as a consultant right away. So, uh, you know, I just kind of kept that track going from that perspective. And what was your interest in? What um, veered you towards technology? Um, you know, for me, it was really new at the time, right? Actually coming up, I didn't, you know, we never had a computer. The closest I got to kind of those things was the video games, as you can see here in the background. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was I was good at math and it was just something new. It was something that not a lot of my peers were doing. And, you know, I love solving problems. So it's like this, this new thing, I'm solving problems. I can actually, you know, use my hands to get it done. And so that's really what, a, what attracted me to it. Um, you know, early on. Okay. And um, so what does, if you wouldn't mind sharing, what does a vice president do? Oh, so what do I do? Um, it depends on the day. Um, <laughs> but a, a lot of time for me, I, I spend a good considerable amount of time kind of doing technology strategy for the organization and, and, and building and leading my team through building a lot of the assets for um, Kaplan and Purdue Global and, and some of our other partners. So our websites, um, our technologies that our advisors and, and students use, uh, my team is responsible for. So I spend a lot of time, you know, solving problems, coming up with strategies, setting visions um, in order to deliver those, those technology experiences. So do you have a typical day? I know we're all working remotely right now, but do you have a typical day? Do you tend to work a normal Monday through Friday? Do you travel? Um, I used to travel, not as much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do work a, I'll call it a typical around 8.30 to 6 o'clock-ish schedule, um, Monday through Friday. You know, I'm always kind of on call. I have two phones um, that, you know, I'm checking email and alerts. But, you know, typically I try to keep it confined between 8.30, 6 o'clock. I may check my email in the evening. But the hard work kind of gets done between those core hours. Right. So you don't really have a typical day. I know you talked a little bit about what you do and what you oversee. Sure. Yeah. So, but, you know, the days, the days are different. You know, sometimes it's it's more technology focused and meeting with my team to solve some challenges. Um, some of the other times may I may be meeting with our business stakeholders, or other client partners and and talking actually about the business and coming up with new ideas. Right. Um, you know, now that I'm not an, a hands on engineer like I used to be, you know, I don't have to actually go fix the problems, but I have to be around and aware, which is why I keep the phones and, and, and plugged into what's happening. OK. Is there a favorite part of your job that you enjoy the most? Oh, I have a couple, actually. Um, one is I love I still love solving problems, even though I'm not actually hands on programming anymore. You know, I still kind of peek my head in there, um, you know, every so often to see if I still have it. So, you know, part of it is just still solving problems and solving those challenges. Um, and since I've spent a considerable amount of time in the education field, you know, I love you know, students getting an education, right? I love being able to deliver those experiences and actually change lives and may make a difference. So, you know, combine those two things have just kind of given me the best of both worlds in this position. So can you talk about a little bit about some of the positions that you've already um, been in to get to where you are today? Sure, sure. So I started off as a actually as a software consultant. So I was hands on keyboards, you know, developing websites, developing back end database um, uh, programs. And I worked for a couple of different companies, some in education, some in the medical field. 
Um, I've actually been laid off twice, but each time I've been laid off, I kind of got a better job. Um, you know, as we as we moved. So then I moved to Florida. Um, again, started off as an engineer, worked my way up to a director, senior director, executive director, and I've been vice president for you know upwards of eight nine years. So, you know, went from really starting from the bottom to uh, you know to to being where I am today. So we have a lot of, you know, you talked about gaming and you talked about engineering and, you know, hands on and the coding mm -hmm. and that type of thing. If we had any students who are interested in going into this career, what advice would you give to them now? Um, you know, there are plenty of free sites out there that, you know, will will get them into it. Right. There, there's plenty of, you know, as as the programming has become more popular. Right. You know, go go on the Internet, you know, do some trials figure out something that you like and just get started, right? Get your hands in there, get started, pick up a book, you know, um, but there, there's plenty of boot camps and, and, and free coding assets out there that would, that would allow them to get started. Wonderful. Well, this sounds like wonderful advice. Thank you so much, Eron. I really appreciate you speaking with us today. No problem, Claire, anytime.